I want to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there.
slow myself here. Come raise a cup and lose some silver! Hold on. The Lord is my strength.
I haven't found anything. Mér ekki hef það hleif en ott var æti hann í gær þegar hann var drukk. Er höfugt að finna salt hérna. Náttið að dreikja flest kjötin. Nátt að rauma sig ef allt sér reykt. Munni Þórður vilja hafa brauðhleifið að fá að pressa. myself out. This is your house? I set my key down, only to watch it fall into the river. My name's Bron. Hi, Bron. Ah, a Dane. I have an object inside that you'd be interested in. The legendary horn of Ragnar Lothbrok. You have Ragnar's horn. How can you know it was his? You have me there, friend. I cannot be certain. It's a very old Dane horn. Help me into my house. You can judge for yourself. I am curious to see this horn. I hid it somewhere long ago. Forgive me, I can't recall just where. Help me search. Ah, yes! 
Yes! Now I remember! It must be behind there. Well done, friend! Look at that! That's no horn. Hmm. Let me have a look. Hold! Thief! You filthy Dane, get out of my house! This man told me the house was his. Have you any idea how important I am? I shall have you both flayed and hung from the city gates! Friend, it's all a simple misunderstanding. If you were deceived, Dane, you'll return my biblo and help me kill this villain. Here's your item. Ron here is a liar and a thief. He deserves what he gets. No! We have the advantage! So much for him. You've helped me, Dane. I will not send you before the Magistrate for robbery. I trust you are grateful. <laughs> I regret only that I did not hear the battle song of Ragnar's horn. that he pined, and I feel torn in two. My loyalty to him tears me one direction, and the Nephilim point elsewhere. Why hath these voices spoken to me? The Gospels sing within me, and yet I sense conflict. I sense disagreement among the angels. It saddens me greatly. I will one day weigh my soul, attempt penance, attempt to repent for the missteps in my life. Yet here, all shineth brightest, for he let me see.
side must be barred.
Aid me. Be my eyes. I... The speed you left home? I thought you've been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here. Bridget. My own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our gunner. Avantin da. With my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you uh, a family, Bridget? That mom and dad carried even gilder than I Couldn't help Drew's me. Bridget Ma and Pa were the last high priestess and elder man. They since passed on, but the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Dim Jolch, you two bags of air see how good pass gilid. That ever gal please sound. Right? No daylight to waste then, huh? You will be on the lips of every skull for years. Hmm. <laughs> the Martians here. We should get back to our chat. Hmm. <laughs> And the Mercians here are not unsettled by lurking Vikings. They come from all over to celebrate Samhain. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mind. Samhain? Is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let us bring a few back. There is the elder man. Kunan! A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah. Then let's introduce you to Tevder. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevder, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick, the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? I am here to hasten my friend's marriage, and drink my weight in ale. If friendship comes afterwards, then all the better. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? 
So-called puppet kings keep your lands safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks. Only hospitality. A apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You, you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? <sighs> ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last Samhain. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then, by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go! May you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elder Monk. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill, but the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run it around... It lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need and of how my will shepherding. you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we not going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenom your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of pine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, King Gorf. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You are a kinder man than the mask you wear. But you won't be rid of me. I will keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I will not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefter. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hair? Tefter, get to safety! Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? Spell the swine!
Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It's good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splood. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one. Find me at the festivities. What adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. We were accosted by a group of boars. Odd, but path now usually south. To the Grivo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight. Two of you as a pair. I kept my word to Kunin, and that spat cuck Tefner lives. Restraint, Eivor? I was half expecting you to wallop the lad around the head and ass. I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Tefter. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskal Anvil is spread down in creatures of the Vale. The bag for treats. Glowashester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given? Huh. I have only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, braying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Lubed. Now, that's Hooden. Become the Mary Lubed, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your cloak back until we leave. I'll keep this covering, but even a knife to my throat could not make me sing on command. Shay. I heard your voice clear as a bell. Locks fall from the sky in envy. Gunner, if no one else is dressed this way, I will fill your shop with sheep. Trick or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Lewid. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sour night and the moon is high. Mari Lewid haunts my door.
The air is chilling, and ghosts are spilling all across the misty moor. Oh, ghosts and beasties. Here, spirit, take your reward. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can trickster spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet cakes to turn you into a gentle skull. I am not going to sing, Gunnar. Are you ready to rhyme with me? Down the road, from my abode, there is an open vale. I've been here knocking and the walking. Now give me cake and ale. Brilliant, that is! <laughs> ah, lads getting into their cups, scaring the wee ones. Eivor, mighty warrior, knocker of doors, victor of cakes. How does it feel to pillage what is freely given? A worthy haul, and a tradition yes. worth keeping up. Come to rhyme with you. In the gloaming, see her roaming hidden neath the hood. Never knowing who is knocking, wanting something good. Oh, very nice. <laughs> Look at these cakes. Sweet as honey, Gunnar. You should see this. Gunnar. My cakes. Show me. Gunnar! Oh, damn deserter. Take your false gods and piss off back to your shit smeared hobble! It's Wayne that you behave in. You are either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Gunnar, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hooden more. <laughs> you seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ, I'm tall. God damn you! We should be burning alive! Are you sure you don't want to stay in Glowerchester? They know how to have fun. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukis, Modron's a compass to patch this land.
Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on Samhain. But I fear for the fragile peace when Tevder becomes elder men. Tis Dean of Fall. Regardless of Poisel Puar. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenith, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salve. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before you return. I'll give me strength. But my modern is known I'm a humor towish gatran. I'm glad you all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make Mary and try to loosen Tevter's shoulders. Madron, you don't have to save his leg. I will understand. That limb will be fine, but no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. With bitter ale and sweet friends, that is a fine way to end the day. Eivor, there you are. Tefter. You're well met. Guilim here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lad will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. For shaveling of the Christ Lord, you have a lot of scars, Gwillem. Not every tonsured man is a wet ear, Abbey, babe. I came to God after I had scarred my soul with sin. To holy hearths and humid eyes, it is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull. So slow. 